Hello ladies and gentlemen and otherwise, what's up? My name is Devious, double checking my audio because I am paranoid. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, Gods Tremble. I'm going to do a funny voice for that every time if I remember, if I remember keywords. Anyway, I've got a Cyberpunk Red game tonight and I wanted to get some actual work done because I've been very, very lazy about recording and editing and doing anything with Final Fantasy. I've been... A very bad boy. I've been doing a lot of tabletop stuff. And I haven't really paid attention to uh, this. Which is kind of weird, because my entire community is built around this shenanigans. There's still a bunch of dolls sitting up out of nowhere. In the, in the, very strange. Anywho, uh, last episode, we did the uh, Lapis Something Something. Uh, the place where the Reapers did the training. And uh, yeah, now we are... Now we're grabbing some... Uh, containers to bring back some ceruleum because the girlian lads need to uh, need to be warm yeah We're gonna be doing some stuff etc and things y'all know the drill <clears throat> on that note like comment sub etc if you enjoy what's about to happen blah 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 I will not insult thine intelligence further so let's actually let's just let's just get to work here we are grabbing barrels Less a container and more a sieve, given its poor condition and visible holes. <laughs> Alright, that's a hard no. Oh yeah, we could actually use mounts here. Let's do that. We ride! Hmm. That looks violent. Coming through here the first time, I thought, oh dang, we gotta walk through this, don't we? The container is now filled to the brim with Cerulean. That one has been filled, you should hurry and take it to the Snowcraft. The Stenian has already seen to the rest. Go on ahead. The other ask, the others ask, I remain here in event they, uh, they find more. Will do. Okay, they're not going to actually make us uh, haul this all the way back. Well, okay, we, we got we to gotta do a little, little rocking. Hello, Stenian. That chunky boy right there. All right, load it up. Snowcraft is all but overflowing with cerulean containers. However, several of your comrades have yet to arrive. Perhaps a nearby vantage point would afford a more favorable view of their return. Uh, you mean at the entrance to the place that we were? That does seem reasonable. Waiting for this to go sideways because they told me, like, my crew told me that the uh, the trial would be within ten or so minutes of completing the duty. So um, I'm expecting the worst. Where's Reacher? Reacher not back yet? Yeah. Okay. We had the same idea. <laughs> Estonian knows. My apologies for the delay. You good, bro? Are you all right? I am. As distressing as this turn of events was, the eye itself gives me cause to hope. While it is no longer possessed of Ajdaya's will, it may yet lead us to her. Yeah, this was a play. The fact that we have the eye at all, that that's... This is some uh, some gaming. Uh, <laughs> they're doing pro gamer strats here. I'm worried. Were it not for your encouragement, I would never have dared to embark on my search, much less come this far. It's what we do. I will not lose faith. I will find my sister, wheresoever she may be. Am right. We'll return the eye to her. Together. I love Asinian's character arc. Please see. Though tainted, the eye has not fully succumbed to darkness. Ashdaya herself may have been able to resist its influence. Well, as much as we'd love to take part in your next foray, 
We can't abandon our efforts here. I'd never ask you to. Indeed. We'll need to keep a close watch in case the void gate opens again as well. Though should it prove safe to do so, I have some ideas for how we might put this village to use. Do what you must. We will manage. To free Ashdaya, I expect we will have to deal with Golbez once and for all. After which you may undertake your work without worry. We look forward to the glad tidings. Yeah. You'll take good care of everyone, won't you? This is way too wholesome to be leading into a trial, I'm just saying. What? Why do you ask me this? Oh, uh, have you not noticed? Uh, you're, you're a son. No, like that. I'm sorry, it just kind of happened. You, it happened when you decided to help of your own accord. Because comrades look out for one another, and I can't think of anyone more qualified to keep them safe. Yeah, no, the sister dynamic between these two is strong, and I'm loving it. <laughs> Always the hat. True. I will do no less than I've promised. If our respective plans are settled, then let us head back. Notice there, she said that she would do no less than she promised. She didn't say no more. Which is probably in her character before this uh, revelation of doing things because she wants to. We are seeing growth, my friends. Also, I've said it like a billion times, but Estinian being the... Like, he comes across, um, like, in most situations, he comes across as the discount edgelord with a pokey thing. But he is one of the most empathetic characters, actually. Because he's been through a lot. And with Reacher especially, he knows, like, he knows some of what's going on. It's, it's just so cool to see depth of character in literally every one of the mains. Okay, so where's the catastrophic failure? There is a trial a coming, I have been told. Where is the catastrophic failure? I suppose this is where we part ways for now. Though we have every faith in you, uh, we will pray for your safety all the same. Established by now, the. Okay, whatever. Stop being so anti religious at all times. But we had the chance to talk, Zero. Take care. Until next time. Zero, you've been adopted into the Levy Your family. Uh, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Until next time. Too much wholesome for you to remain, Edgelord. We did it with Astinian, we'll do it with you too! <laughs> oh, Cerulean has been added to the Unending Codex. Excellent! Zero wishes to know your next destination. Yeah, me too! What is this? King Urchin Loaf. Sounds good, actually. I'm right in assuming that we are to return to the Void. Now that matters here have been settled, yes. But first we should return to Radzatan to prepare. When everyone is ready, let us convene at Megadiza. And now, we jump once again. This concerns me deeply. The squad is gathered, and I'm assuming we're roughly where the trial will start. There's a lot of people here, though. Yeah, th this is definitely where something's going to happen. Something bad is going to happen here. And, um... Um... I'm worried. I am worried. No, no, Etta. Etta. Chill. We have things to do. Etta, 
I need to get back to um, to Palace of the Dead. Thank you for reminding me. But at a chill, we're doing a story right now. We're recording. Doing it for the peoples. Wait a second. If everyone yep. is ready, then let us depart for Al Zadar's legacy. Let's do it. Except let's not, because this is about to happen. Oh! Okay! Around that kind of time. That is. No. I imagine that's similar to seeing a mushroom cloud in the distance. What was that? Good question. Not good is the answer. A deluge of ether. The mark of a terrible magic. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go like now. It wasn't far from here. Let's go. Let's. Is that like in the city or was it outside? I'm assuming it was in the city based on the fact that everyone was gathered around the Aetherite. No, I think it's out of the city. Oh, you running. Hey, you! Stop! If you're thinking of taking to sea, don't! Why? What has happened? We were out working our nets when a light suddenly shot up over Balflower Isle with a boom. It's not good. A massive fiend then took to the skies. Okay, so it was but definitely... It blasphemy, we hmm. feared. But we didn't linger to find out. Did you see where it was headed? I can't say for sure, but it looked like it was northward bound. Hmm. I see. Our thanks for the warning, and do not let us keep you. Yeah, you you head for the hills, man. Buffalo Isle is connected to Al Zadal's legacy. This cannot be a coincidence. In response to Karnyatso's defeat, they have come for our gate. So it seems. I would ascertain the situation of the vault, but the fiend must be dealt with ere people come to harm. Eh, no, that's definitely step one. That's right. I shall assume my dragon form and seek it out at once. Wait. You heard the fisherman. A blasphemy, they called it. Yeah. If another flying creature were sighted now, others will assume the worst and panic will spread. This is not the way. That's actually a good point. Well, wait, I thought everyone was aware of Retra by this point. We can do this together. Not going to say I'll do it, but yeah, we'll, we'll do it together. You are right, Estenine. I will gather my soldiers and search the aisle for casualties. There you go. The fiend, I leave to you. It's what we do. The hunt will go more swiftly with help. Zero, might I prevail upon you to accompany her? Very well. She didn't ask for payment this time. <laughs> Then Estinian and I will make for Al Zadar's legacy and secure the gate. Let's do it. Stay on your guard. The enemy is clever and will have anticipated our response. Oh, most certainly. Most certainly. Be safe, my friends, and may the sisters guide your steps. I really hate how everyone's still religious, despite the fact that we've actually run fades with their gods. Push the button. Rathalos! I just realized we were talking about uh, more flying monsters be bad, and I come flying in on a Rathalos. It's fine. What's up, buddy? Well, this is party. Bad things are about to happen. Yeah, what it is, Chief? Hello, can you hear me? Yup. We were too late. The vault has been destroyed. 
The alchemical furnace with it. Uh. This was their true objective. To deny us entry into the void. Kanyatso mm. and Ajdaya's eye were a diversion. Yeah, figured. A means to detain us in Garlemald. While they went to work here. To reduce the vault to rubble. That which you hunt is no ordinary foe. Have care. So it's a fight, you say? Good. Hello! Get weird vibes from this one. The spawn Deadpool looking mobile. Such an exquisite sight. The canvas of vibrant colors. As was our world too, once. Lobaz's champions, I presume. Interesting. I am Rubicante, the Archfiend of Fire. Very good. A monster in flesh. Yet in spirit, I remain a man, a prisoner of the past. Mm -hmm. Such tears I wept when darkness consumed the world, until Lord Golbez came and spoke of salvation. Thus do I walk proudly at his side to see his dream fulfilled. Hmm. Your heart is pure. For benevolent cause, you seek the dragon. No, oh, mainly because I want to, but yeah, continue. But I cannot allow you to have it. Cannot allow you to interfere. If you would continue, then there is but one recourse. Okay, look. We're behind the death of every single one of your colleagues. Do you really think you are going to be the one to stop me? I shall await you at the summit. Come, mortal. Come and weigh your righteousness against mine. I mentioned this in a past episode, but I really like how the fire... Archfiend is kind of the calm and methodical one, and the water Archfiend was the absolutely batshit one. And then even then, uh, with Skirmilione and uh, Barbaricia, Skirmilione was really flighty and evasive, being the Earth Archfiend, and Barbaricia was the brute force smash it until it breaks Archfiend. Okay, gotta gather the lads real quick, and then we shall go. Alright, and we're back after an absolute shit show of getting everybody organized. So, we have James slash Lizzie, Ara, um, Echo is who I'm calling this person, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, I'm not reading that name. Oh no, never mind, that's Echo, Mirage. Uh, Kana is back again, I think healing, I don't know. Tula is my co-tank, and Ren, our uh, resident backflipper of doom. We're going to have a great time. So, let's get into it. How much time are we in? We're like half an hour in. Let's go. Send it. <laughs> All right, lads, hit the bang switch. Let's fucking go. Suddenly very excited, because I haven't actually been in chat with the lads in a while. And, uh, one side of my brain's like, no, introvert, stay away from people. And the other side of my brain's like, uh, no, people good, friends. 
Yeah. Azim would like a word with you. Oh, Matt, my boy. You stayed the course, as I knew you would. As too will I. Come. What were we standing on beforehand? <laughs> like, legit, what, what was the plan here? All right, so. Are we ready? I love this, by the way. So, one, two, three, let's go. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing, but we're just going to go with it. Just going to accept that there's going to be some weirdness today. Um, what's he doing? Oh! That's what he's doing. Oh! Um, this is weird. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Everyone's going over here. Oh! Okay. So that's gonna do that? I don't know what the play is here. Facing this way, away from the party. All I care about. Not bad. Let's give it a second. Oh, we're on that kind of time. I see. a lot there are many things happening here and I don't like any of them I'm going to stand here -ish. this is a bad idea oh never mind oh, I fucked up I fucked up I fucked up yeah there was no way out of that one I just failed miserably fair enough this is the definition of talk shit get hit I've just been talking shit and getting got a lot Yeah, I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna let uh, Neon stick over here a little bit. There's got to be a way to figure out what does what, or is it always a cone? Okay, that's moving, which means it's gonna be over here. I believe. Okay, yeah, I was right. I don't. I might not be out of range. Okay. Oh, Echo, buddy. I got you, bro. This is an interesting mechanic, though. Okay, so it's gonna do that, which means it's gonna be over here. This is cool. Oh no, Kana! Um, friend, why did you? Okay. There has been a slight misunderstanding, but it's okay. Try not to get got here, man. That's all I'm up to. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine.
This boy kinda spicy. Yes. Uh-oh. I am one with the flame. I think uh Neon is taking over tank, so I'm just gonna drop my tank stance. Ooh. You are the first to this Cute. Adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna let Neon take over his main tank. I'm just gonna relax. Uh. I'm gonna kick him, but it's fine. I'm sorry, what? Okay, that's a problem. Hum! James? You're the hero at the moment. I'm gonna turn this on just to make sure. Is gonna hurt. No way around it. Oh, I don't have a heal. I, shall tear you I have a heal. Hang in there, Nance. Uh, uh, th this is a tough one. All right, we're all right. We're all right. I think we're all right. I'm gonna keep my tank stance on just in case. I do not want any of our healers to get got here. That'd be very, very bad. And this boy, this boy is kind of spicy, though. So I'm guessing it's always a cone. I, I have yet to see it when it's not a cone. It's that one, so it's going to be over here. Might be a little bit far over. It's all right. Just keep hitting him with a range attack. This guy is kind of chunky, actually. So it's going to be over here. Hopefully. I think you're a little bit close. The defend Connor, but it's alright. She's still alive. She's fine. All is well. Okay, this is the one where it gets a little bit insane. I think I need to focus more on my positioning rather than staying on target. Ooh, I'm gonna make that one. How did I not? How did I make that one? I'm just focusing on one, two, three, and send it. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna eat one no matter what. That was that was dumb. Shouldn't have just stayed there. It's fine. We'll send. Well, he's getting into it. Now over here. Yeah, I remembered. Woo! Look, Mom, I'm learning. Alright, hit him with the bang switch. Loudy. Not be using my mitigation all that much. I'm just gonna help the healers as much as I can here. I do not want any of them to die. So these are gonna double up. Yep, just like that. Oh, 
Oh, the healer LB. Good, good, good. So I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. And with everything. It's just his health is not going down as fast as I would like. This boy is kinda chonky. Also, I realize that I haven't used Bloodfest at all. I'm sorry. So you use it. Who just fell off? Was it Ren? Was it Ara? Yeah, I saw somebody go off the side. Okay. Should be good. Where are we going? That way, and it's going this way, so we need to be here. Pretty sure here is safe. Could be wrong. Here is safe. I did it good, Mom. Are you proud? Another one. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be this one. Had a bit of a brain fart there. I'm usually pretty good with angles. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. This is taking a little while. Looks like uh, our summoner was in the midst of their damage combo, though, so that makes me very happy. Should have done that beforehand. I really need to learn raid whites. Ooh, I don't like this one. This one makes me nervous. Focus on the one, two, three. Focus on the one, two, three. Keep the damage going. Just focus on the damage and not dying. We do not like Vuln stacks. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all the way across now, give myself some room to move. Perfect. No Vuln sacks across the board. Well fucking done, everybody. Really need to quit cursing. That's been a goal of mine for a while now, but and now that we're here. Alright. That work. Bang one, bang two. Okay, that was less than ideal. But it's okay. The flames rise higher. Come on, lads, we're almost there. Break them down. Two percent. Light them up, lads. Yeah! GG. That was that was a spicy one. Uh, when he first did the circles thing, I was kind of concerned that he was going to like throw uh, a circular AoE, then maybe a ring, and then uh, have the usual. GG, lads. That was a good one. All right, that was nice. I'm gonna go talk to the crew real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. That was hilarious. I like this fight. This is a good fight. Had some uh, pretty gnarly trips there and uh, Kana, <laughs> Kana was thinking, uh, was still in the mindset because she does extremes and, uh, and savages on a regular. So she was still in the mindset of doing this extreme. <laughs> She, she was accounting for that and just eating some mechanics. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. I like that a lot. They're really doing good with these later, these uh, latest trials and dungeons and everything. The team is on point. Hey, what's up, Zero? It seems it was a step too slow. It's okay. This is daily. It's Tuesday. To defeat all of us arch fiends, you are strong indeed. 
If you knew half of the things and people, beings that I've fought, you wouldn't question that. What is it that Golbez seeks? Because I know what you're fighting, but what's his endgame? You would know my lord's true purpose. Yeah. Very well. The knowledge will not change the outcome. Listen then, and learn how all began. I really like antagonists like this, who... Like, they, they show respect where it's due. Like, yeah, we're enemies, but... You know. Gangster respect gangster. <laughs> Wait, did he just force trigger my echo? Ooh. How long has it been since the world was undone? Since light and life gave way to darkness and undeath. Since we were reduced to beasts befouled, squabbling over what scant ether remains. But you are different. You remember who you were and the paradise for which you fought. That world will never be ours again. But we need not suffer in this purgatory of death and rebirth forever. Join me, and together we shall seek the promised land. There is no hope. No freedom from the real. You speak a fantasy. Can I agree with him at this point? What is your angle? What is this promised land, Golbez? I speak truth. The Asian's revelation. There it is. There are other worlds than this. Ours is but one of fourteen. I'm gonna ballpark it right now. He's looking to either invade the source or one of the other reflections. In which case, we're about to get a whole lot of new places to, vi to visit. There is no greater proof than the whispers we hear, born of a neighboring reality. A reality to which we may journey if we can but break down the barrier that divides us. Yep, he's looking to invade. You meant it then. We will take this world as our own. <laughs> Count me in. In return for your strength, I offer you opportunity. To pursue your own ends in service to a greater cause. It's kind of dramatic. Very dramatic. A glorious kingdom of light, wherein all may know death's sweet embrace. Mm hmm. So, uh, huh? Reserve judgment here. And thus did we begin our great work. This guy just legit triggered my echo, didn't he? You intend to forsake the Thirteenth and conquer the Source? Oh no, never mind. He just told the story, and we were seeing echo. <clears throat> Just so. 
Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. I take that as a challenge. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. You served Golbez of your own volition. As atonement for my failures, I tried to be a hero. Tried to stop the war. But I could not. So in turn, you wage another. A means to a final end. The wheel of depravity must be broken. Even the most exalted succumb. We eat and eat and deepen the stain upon our souls until only the hunger remains. Is this to be our fate for all eternity? This is what desperation does to people. I don't know. About this and a great many things. But I do know that it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. I am so proud of you. Not everything need be a trade. This I learned from the people of this world. Even without a contract, without any expectation of personal gain, they labor for one another. I didn't understand it at first, and perhaps I still don't. But if I'm to achieve something, I'd rather do it their way. Else I'm already a hunger-maddened beast. <laughs> Perhaps we have indeed surrendered to the hunger after a fashion. So again, I really appreciate it when a villain, or an antagonist rather, that shows genuine respect and actually makes an attempt to see a different point of view. <clears throat> Make for our moon. There you will find both Lord Golbez and your dragon. Oh. Why are you telling us this? To be so viciously slandered. Pride demands I prove my virtue at the last. And perhaps your own will resonate with his and draw forth that singular jewel which abides deep within his heart. A desire which lies beyond his quest to free us from our purgatory. A desire all his own. Goodbye, Rubicante. We've gotten to deal with him a little bit more. I mean, there's... There's, uh, kind of layers to villainy, as it were. Like, on one hand, obviously, we got to fight everybody. That's a given. It's a cool looking axe. But, like, Skarmelione was almost comically evil. It was everything you expect a, uh, a ratty, despicable villain to be. Barbariccia was kind of the brute, and. Well. Sort of the cruel, semi-brutish person. And then Cagnaccio was... 
He was more fiery than the fire dude. But then... Rubicante. Very much a... Uh, I'm doing what I can the best way I can kind of person. I appreciate that. I like villains with depth, all right? People we can we can relate to, make us think, oh, yeah, in that situation, I might do the same thing. All right, send it. My inquiries delayed me. I'm not accustomed to conversation. It's fine. I'm glad I arrived in time to speak with Rubicante. As much as I understand his motives, I believe there's a better way. Yours. And the future you strive for is one I wish to see. To know why I feel this way. Why this fire burns in my breast. Yo, direct hit rate. Uh, what kind of time are we looking at? Uh. Okay, I've concluded that this episode might be a long one because this is just kind of where we are. So let's try and finish it off and I'll chop it up as needed. <clears throat> There's nothing more for us here. What of Elzadol's legacy? Has there been word from Ishtola and the others? Let's see. Frustrating, perhaps, but better better that the gate be destroyed than use some reach more void scent. True. We should return to Megaduta and rejoin the others. Alright, let's boogie. I'm pretty sure after this is just a lot of cutscenes. Just a lot of cutscenes now. Yo. <laughs> Zero walking with a purpose. Oh yeah, she hasn't actually seen Breacher yet. Thank goodness you're both all right. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. Damn shame. But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Um, pretty good. We have informations. <gasps> I just had an idea. I'll wait until the next voice line. <laughs> aspires to deliver void scent unto the source. Sorry, her face just caught me off guard. What if we have to go to... Oh! Oh, wait a minute! That lines up so well! Oh, how did I not see this the second they mentioned the moon? So, okay, look. Um, so, the moon. They're on the moon right now in the 13th. That's their base of operations. The moon is where Zodiac was kept, and Zodiac is a massive, like, coalescence of darkness. That, that's, that was his thing. So it stands to reason there would be a lot of residual darkness and energy and ether like that in on the moon, which may have a ripple effect in the other reflections. Oh, crap. Golbez is planning to tear open a massive void gate at the moon and flood all of creation with void scent. Is that our angle? I feel like that's our angle. Did I just galaxy brain that? Or is that... This is this is more of my conspiracy theories. Sorry. <laughs> We're on a time crunch. We gotta go. Where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Far be it for me to deny them. But the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Yeah. Indeed. Void sent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered. It will be naught less than a calamity. Yeah. Can't let that happen. Not again. Certainly not. That said, our task has been rendered rather difficult. Not impossible, though. Indeed. Rubicante hath deprived us of a means to cross into the void. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Wait a minute. There might also be another angle here. What if we use the residual dark energy on the moon 
as a way to tear open our own void gate and invade there. That would be a Giga Chad move right there. Golbez sacrificed two Archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. <laughs> then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the 13th. We could employ another Atomos, but that approach would only be viable if we found another planar fissure. An unlikely prospect. Better we explore other avenues. Such as? If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. Time is of the essence, so wish me luck. You won't need it, but good luck. I'm no scholar. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. I have absolutely no doubt. Just, you know, don't thrash the recruits too hard. Ristola alone will be more than a match for those tomes. <laughs> I don't doubt it. She's a veritable researcher of light. Very much so. Zero. May we call upon thee when next we venture unto the 13th. Aye. And in case you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. Oh. Uh -huh. I will go for myself. To try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. My heart's warm. And the fire I felt within, when you all came to my aid in Galamald. Welcome to the family, Zero. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tongues, let us see to our own affairs. It's war. Big five until next patch. I will not fail you again, sister. I'm happy. Oh, Varshan, little Varshan. <clears throat> Before you leave, I would once more express my gratitude. By your hand, has that never been saved yet again? Literally Tuesday, my guy. Well, technically Thursday, but you know. But before you delivered my people, you helped me rediscover hope. And I said to my sisters, I left me bereft and adrifted for a time. We may have lost the gate in Elzadar's legacy, but there must be another way to travel the void. Together we will find it. For now, I bid you rest and recover your strength. I too shall have my vessel improved ahead of our next journey. To achieve his ends, Gobetz has sacrificed his four generals. Such a ruthless foe is unpredictable in the extreme. But no more. Uh, but no matter what he plots, we shall do our utmost to see that he does not succeed. Heck yeah. Quick check. We're over an hour, but I think I can cut it down. What we got? Meanwhile! On the moon. Oh dear. That does not look like a moon. Meanwhile! On the moon of the 13th. Watch it just fade out there, no explanation. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to. <laughs> That's about to laugh so hard. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Yeah, well, she's still alive. That's good. Definitely not in the greatest of shape. Kenyatso and Rubicante have joined with the great flow. Who are you talking to, you dramatic bitch? In this world, tis the ravenous who are useful. And few were as ravenous as they. You were fine pawns, my arch fiends, and you have played your parts to perfection. But with the goal in sight, I need no minions to do my bidding. Boy. Here on, I shall walk alone. All right. Tell me that doesn't look familiar. Tell me that doesn't look real freaking familiar. Tell me that doesn't look identical to a place that we have been a lot lately. It's hard to look at. Ooh, that's a cool shot. At long, long last, the end draws nigh. The end to life on that star, and the end to my suffering. Ooh. Is there something down there? Beyond closed gates awaits your foe where no path leads and none may go. Ooh. I'm digging it. Oh, I'm digging it. <laughs> All right, ladies, and gentlemen, and otherwise, that is going to be it for now. Until next patch day, I am digging this story. Uh, let me know about my conspiracy theories regarding the moon and the pit, because I, I feel like that first one that uh, he's planning to use the residual dark from where Zodiac was stored to kind of rip open a mega portal. Let me know if that was Giga Brain or Smooth Brain. Anyway, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely journey. If you did, drop me a like and a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, drop kick that subscribe button, red house bell next to it. So YouTube Senpai remembers to tell the Almighty algorithm. So YouTube Senpai remembers to tell the Almighty algorithm that I exist whenever I upload. And if you would like to join me personally on any of these shenanigans, uh, there is a Discord link down below. Hop in, ask for the Chaos Crew tag, and you'll be pinged when I'm up to shenanigans. All that being said, y'all have a wonderful day, and we'll see y'all next round.